Hey guys, Jojo here in the Woman Cave, trying to catch up on content, but it's been a little difficult with work being pretty crazy, but you guys all know how that goes. Um, but anyways, I thought I would give you my thoughts on Godzilla King of the Monsters, because I really haven't brought it up on my channel. And, you know, I want to see what you guys thought about it too. So if you haven't seen it yet, I would suggest you just come back to this video at a later date, and I'm all good with that if you are. So. Yeah, but uh, for those of you who have seen it, uh, let's discuss. Overall, I really had a great time with this movie. Um, I would consider it more of like a popcorn flick. Um, great summer movie, uh, especially if you like creature features as I do. You're really going to enjoy this. Um, I can't say too many great things about the plot, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I think that it definitely uh, took a hit because I think what happened was that they were just so concentrated on like the CGI and how you know the Titan battles looked on screen that they you know the story kind of went by the wayside unfortunately <laughs> but you know it is what it is a lot of times you will see that happen with these types of movies the the human element is never really that great and it's more about just the spectacle of the monsters right so that's how i felt about it um going into it i didn't have super high expectations i had seen godzilla and i had seen um kong skull island both really fun movies. If I remember correctly, the 2014 Godzilla did get a lot of criticism, um, mainly because there wasn't enough Godzilla in it. Um, you know, I didn't really care too much about that. I thought it was still a fun movie, and I thought the way that they did incorporate Godzilla, you know, in and out of the storyline made sense, and I thought it was kind of clever that the way that they handled it but a lot of people didn't like that so i think that with this movie they're definitely trying to compensate and correct that because we see a ton of godzilla and not to mention mothra and Ghidorah. oh my gosh guys it is epic some of those battles are just breathtaking like the cgi just was on point like nothing I've ever seen in any other movie like you really felt like they were standing fighting in front of you and it was pretty intense honestly I would recommend this movie just for the battle scenes alone like that in itself is worth the price of admission if you ask me although I don't think that they're still showing this movie in theaters not sure it's been a while guys I know I'm lagging it with these videos like I said earlier but Anyways, uh, I think the main flaw with this movie really was just the human factor. If you just took all those scenes and <laughs> deleted them, that would be A-OK -okay with me. They just made all the characters like really unlikable. I think the only one that was semi-likable was a uh, little girl, the uh, Millie Bobby Brown's character. Um, yeah, because the parents, I mean awful parenting skills. I don't know why uh, the mother would ever let her daughter join her at her like extremely dangerous job that's like super reckless. They're trying to awaken titans. Like they come super close to like almost dying because Mothra wakes up. Like come on. Some of their motives just did not make sense to me. Um, the antagonist was awful. I mean for a while, you know, you think the mother is the antagonist, but she's kind of... Her intentions aren't awful, even though, you know, she's not using her brain uh, most of the time. But there's another guy that's helping her accomplish all these things. Um, and that guy, it's like, why are you even here? And why do you want this to happen uh, it's clear that you know his story is going to continue in the next movie because of the end credit scene um if you guys remember that um but they didn't do enough development for him in this one uh, i think we needed a little more to go off of because honestly he just kind of disappears like at some point you just don't see him again so until the end credit scene so that was a little a little weird um, and yeah, the father, like, 
he was very wishy-washy with his beliefs. You know, part of me really wants to believe that these human characters were so unlikable and written in that fashion to kind of show the human folly. I mean, I hope that's the case because that would make a lot of sense, you know, to kind of demonstrate that, you know, humans are kind of victims of their emotions and they let that dictate their decision making and their rationale, which sometimes leads us into our own demise. <laughs> um, and, you know, when you kind of juxtapose that to these huge godlike creatures, these titans who don't emote, they just are dog eat dog and they're just trying to survive and be the king of the monsters, you know? So maybe that's why we see these flawed characters um, that we don't really connect with because they're making <laughs> all these poor decisions and you know they've got a lot going on in their little dysfunctional family um, and because of that they are suffering the consequences. So yeah maybe it's that uh, just juxtaposition that they we're really trying to get the audience to to notice and to uh, maybe feel sympathetic towards, but I definitely wasn't, and it didn't really work in that way. It, instead, it just looked like bad writing and cheesy dialogue, so they definitely could have executed that a lot better. In terms of the acting in the movie, we got Millie Bobby Brown, Vera Farmiga, we got uh, Kyle Chandler. Um, stellar cast. Uh, they did a great job, I thought. It was the writing, you know, like I said earlier, it wasn't that great. So the dialogue was pretty cheesy, but you know, I thought they did a good job for what they had to work with. Um, yeah, Millie Bobby Brown was a standout to me. Uh, I haven't seen Stranger Things, so this was my first time seeing her perform, and yeah, she's great. She's definitely one to look out for. Um, you know, she didn't have too many scenes in the movie, but when she did, she kind of stole the show, I thought. And, you know, she had like one or two scenes where she was a little, she could emote a little more and, um, kind of show her chops. So, yeah, I definitely noticed that. But, um, yeah, I mean, overall, it was a really fun ride. And I would recommend it if you're into creature features. This is definitely up your alley. You know, the CGI, amazing. So you guys definitely need to see that at the very least because yeah, they did some great stuff with that. And I'm really excited for what's to come with this um, like universe. We have Godzilla, we have Kong um, Skull Island, and now we got this one. And for the end credits in this movie, there are Easter eggs for what's to come in the next sequel, which I think is um, Godzilla vs. Kong. So that's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. Although I'm a little worried for Kong, not gonna lie, because he seems a little bit smaller than Godzilla, but we'll see how that pans out. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a like or subscribe or both. I don't hate it. And you could also catch me on Twitter and on Instagram at pop.comics. And I guess I'll catch y'all over there later.